Hearing from a former Berkeley police officer who now lives in Israel, he and others in law enforcement are trying to help Israeli reservists headed for the front lines. New at 10, KTVU's Zach Sass joining us live with the efforts now underway. Zach. Christina, Jerome Colbert moved to Israel about two years ago, a country he says he absolutely fell in love with after visiting. But Colbert making it clear to me for him this fundraising effort, it isn't just about supporting Israel. It's about defeating Hamas, a group he sees as a threat to the whole world. Air raid sirens over Tel Aviv, now part of daily life for Jerome Colbert. It's scary, I'll be honest. Where we are in the center of the country, we have 90 seconds. Uh, from time of missile launch to impact. The former Berkeley police officer and Sonoma County Sheriff's deputy moved to Israel two years ago, October 7th, now forever seared in his memory. Wake up uh, surprisingly to sirens, which means incoming missile threats. In the hours and days that followed, reports circulating about the more than 1,400 Israeli civilians murdered at the hands of Hamas militants. We knew about some of the threats that we were going to encounter here, but we never thought we would see something like this. And it's painful, not only as a Jew and as an American Israeli, Zach, it's painful as a human being that there's so much hate. Moved to do something to support the hundreds of thousands of Israeli reservists called up to fight Hamas. Cobert now part of a grassroots effort gathering requested supplies for what's expected to be a prolonged offensive. Things that can help enhance what they're doing. They're prepared, don't get me wrong. They have the tools they need, but there's things that can help the comforts of a soldier who's going to be on the front line for a while. Taking the lead on what's needed most from those who've been there before. Any kind of rope you can get like this from Ricochet. We use it again to tie our equipment to us to make sure we don't lose it. First aid kits, okay? You don't know where the medic's going to be if you're on the front. Soldiers like him preparing for the front lines while Colbert says others he knows have been assigned the unthinkable, identifying the remains of those killed by Hamas militants. But he goes, Hamas, he goes, it's, it's unspeakable. He says, this is the worst of the worst of humans. He's telling me about decapitated people, their arms cut off. As for those still missing, Cobert showing a photo he snapped of an empty Shabbat table in the city. There's a chair there for every hostage, and there will be until they're returned. And as for his fundraising efforts, Cobert says people can donate through NorCal Shamrim, a Jewish law enforcement group he heads up. But he says there are also plenty of other worthy groups accepting donations right now in Israel, including Israel's volunteer ambulance service. Christina? Great work he's doing there. Zach Sass in our studio tonight. Zach, thank you.